So um, we'll do some examples of binomial expansion. And we just looked at kind of what the formula was. And this was our, our formula that we just wrote out. And we're going to follow this. We're going to choose something simple, kind of like x plus y. We're going to take it to some power n, make sure we can do it. Okay, so a simple example to begin. Let's do a plus b. And let's do it to the power of 5. Okay, to the power of 5. Now, if you want to, if you have your Pascal's triangle, okay, the coefficients we're going to start with are actually in row what? Now, I, did, I said I wasn't going to talk about rows too much, but yeah, they're going to be in row 6, right? This is so we have row 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And it starts with 5, 2, 0. So these coefficients, if you have your Pascal's triangle out and you want to go ahead and say, hey, I know what my coefficients are going to be. I'm just going to use these guys. Totally fine. Totally fine. Okay? If you don't have Pascal's triangle, if for a tougher question, when you're asked to, you know, a plus b to the power of 27, <laughs> that's gonna, still going to take you a long time, but you don't have Pascal's triangle maybe to 28 rows, right? But this is going to be row 6. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll do this. We will do 5, choose 0, times a to the 5, times b to the 0. Now, as you kind of get used to this, I am not going to require you to write b to the 0. That's fine, because it's just 1. But just for the sake of, you know, how we learn this, I'm going to keep doing this. So 5 choose 1 now, a to the 4, b to the 1. So remember, this keeps coming down, this keeps going up. Okay. I'm just going to give you guys a, a second to, I want you to write out the rest of the terms, okay? I'm going to kind of freeze the video here and write out the rest of the terms and I'll reveal it in a second so you can check. Okay, does that look, look the same as what you guys have there? Okay, so at this point... And it's important, like the final answer, I'm going to do one that's a little bit uh, different for the next example. But the final answer um, might be different. But what you want to look at is at this stage, making sure that all of these add up to your n value right here. Okay? And the coefficients, make sure that they're the same as the row in Pascal's triangle. I'm going to show you an example next where the coefficients, even though this right now looks like Pascal's triangle, that's great. I'm going to show you in another example, a little more complicated one, where the final answer is not going to reflect the coefficients in Pascal's triangle, but it, they will uh, reflect all the coefficients here in the uh, kind of during the, the work. So another example would be, uh, let's just see. Okay, so what about this? 2a minus 3b to the power of 4. Let's try that one. And of course, our first term is 2a. So you can kind of see right away how when we take each of these terms to a power, the number is going to change. So let's see. So this is 4. So we go 4, choose 0, which we know is going to be 1, but let's show our work here so we don't make any mistakes. And this is going to be 2a all to the power of 4. Please make sure that you have this term in the brackets fully. So it's the whole term to the power of 4, not just the a. Okay. And then 3b to the power of 0. That's your first. That's going to be the representation of your very first term. Oops, I missed something. Negative 3b. Not going to matter there. but So 4, choose 1. So this is going to inch up to 1. This is going to be 2a. We're going to bump this down now. And this is going to be to the power of 1. Everyone following that? Now it's 4, choose 2. 2a two to the 2. Negative 3b squared. So remember at this stage, make sure your exponents out here add up to n always. Okay, so let's keep going down here, I guess. 4, choose 3. 2a power of 1, negative 3b cubed. 
And finally, 424. 280, 0, negative 3b to the 4. Okay, everyone understand what we're doing in that step there? Like I say, if you have Pascal's triangle out and you want to just throw these numbers right in right away, that's great. That's fine. Uh, so, if we start to simplify this now, okay, this is the important part. 4 choose 0 is 1. 2a to the 4th, okay, what's 2a to the 4th? That's 16a to the 4th, yes. And then negative 3b to the 0 is 1. So that's going to be, our first term is just going to be 16a to the 4th. The second one, okay, what's 4 choose 1? 4. And then we have times 8 a cubed times negative 3 b. So here we go. Right away you can kind of see, uh, I guess you could see from this one too, but the, the coefficients are not going to be the same as Pascal's triangle when it's all simplified. Okay? So we'll just give you a little bit of time here to finish that out. So go ahead and write your next, next uh, number of terms to complete this step. When you're simplifying at this stage, you want to make sure that, yes, this is a plus, but you're going to have a negative number here, right? So this is going to be 4 times negative 3 is negative 12 times 8, right? Which is, what, 96? So negative 96. Write the first term first. Actually, it's, uh, you know, alphabetical order, right? So then you've got A cubed B. Alright, okay, so when it's all said and done, this is what you should have for your final answer. Okay, so the only, the only sort of second level question that you might get on this is, you know, when these, aren't, these coefficients in here aren't just one, you're going to have to make sure you remember to multiply, you know, everything um, to get the right coefficients and so on. Okay, any questions on that?